Today we're gonna to compare the Discrete Carry Concepts monoblock to their Mod 4 style clip. So Discrete Carry Concepts initially came out with their Mod 4 style clip, which I have right here. This clip is made from proprietary steel and it has constant clamping force between the front of the clip and the back and it features their cloth grabber. So very secure clip and unique from anything else in the market because they're proprietary steel and heat treating process. Most other spring steel clips will actually not hold completely from the front of the clip to the back. They'll end up getting a little bit of space over time with use. These clips will not unless they're defective. I have seen some of these clips fail, but it's one in thousands. So then they have their monoblock style clip, which is a replacement for a foamy. And as you can see, it's just one single side and it attaches to the holster. And then these cloth grabbers are supposed to touch the back of the holster to get that constant clamping force. So the Discrete Carry Concepts monoblock has some advantages over the Mod 4U, and the Mod 4U has some advantages over the monoblock. So the monoblock you need, or I suggest a flat surface on the back of the, or the front of the holster in this case, to mate up with the cloth grabbers on the clip. What this will do is it will create a very secure surface that will hold with and without a belt. And if you're carrying without a belt, this is probably the preferable setup. And the reason is the width. You are gonna have roughly two and a half times the width of this to get the same width on this wider monoblock style clip. So that is gonna be very important for stability, both with and without a belt. It's gonna keep the holster more stable. Now you can put two of these on a holster and space them out and also get some stability, but it's gonna be a lot harder to get on and off. Now, one of the advantages of the Mod 4 style clip is it's tuckable. So since the hardware mounts the bottom of the clip, you can tuck a shirt in or whatnot behind the clip itself. Now, another difference between these two screws is because of the type of metal this is built out of, I highly suggest you use as wide a screw as possible with this. You see a lot of holster companies that use narrower screws like I have right here, the narrower screw head is not gonna provide as much surface area. And that's gonna make the clip weaker due to the size of these slots. So if you see somebody using a narrower screw like what I have right here, I would avoid that holster company. They don't know what they're doing. You're gonna want wider screws like what I have pictured below. So I hope this makes sense, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below or reach out to us through the website. Let us know what clip you like the best, and remember guys, take charge and carry with confidence.